<sighs> okay. What's up, everybody, and welcome to my Friday Night SmackDown review, or which I must say, then, the final Friday Night SmackDown review of 2013, as we kicked it off with John Cena coming out, telling what he wanted to do, and talking about all these New Year's resolutions of what he could have done and tried to make fun of the XFL failure back then. Ugh. They said he wanted to gain 40 pounds. And he could gain 40 pounds tonight in gold. As he wanted to challenge Randy Orton tonight for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship tonight on SmackDown. Pretty much then the Shield came out when he called Orton. Shield came out. Started jumping Cena. Mark Henry came out then. Shield was in on Mark Henry then. Biggie Langston came out. Pretty much it was a brawl. They threw out all of the Shield. Kane came out then. Saying all of them were going to face in singles matches. Seth Rock. Seth Rollins will go one-on-one -on -one with John Cena. Dean Ambrose will go one-on-one -on -one with B. Langston. And Mark Henry will go one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns tonight. So, there's a lot of matches for that that's going to happen tonight. The Wyatts win against the Usos. The Wyatts won. Pretty much a quick match right there. Uh, Cody Rhodes win against Antonio Cesaro. Uh, Cesaro pretty much... Uh, Won the match with him with a roll up, so pretty much Cesaro picked up the win over yeah. Cody Rhodes after having the last Wednesday on main event, which I don't think nobody saw because the holiday edition was Christmas. It was pretty much online, but whatever Golas technically won it at um main event, but um pretty much Cesaro got the win over tonight. Uh, Ryback, Baxel, I guess the team is, at went against the primetime players. Primetime players kind of picked up the win with the roll up. Really good tag team match, enjoyed it. So, primetime players won the match right there. Um, Dolph Ziggler went, went, went against Randy Orton. Pretty much in the result, Ziggler, um, pretty much Orton hit the RKO on Ziggler, and then after he started beating the hell out of Orton, pretty much beating the crap out as they talked about Ziggler's losing streak throughout the entire match, and how bad it's been happening. I must say, he's been be being buried around here in this company, if you ask me a little. Um, pretty much Orton, pretty much DDT'd him off the barricade, and pretty much nearly killing Dolph Ziggler right there, so I don't know what's the idea of having Dolph Ziggler's hair pink. I don't understand Understand that it's got the pink and the blonde going. I don't. I don't understand that, but it's kind of weird. Very strange. The Shield cut a promo talking about how they were gonna all about their singles matches, how they were gonna win tonight. Pretty much saying they couldn't handle the Shield and stuff. Um, pretty much first off, it was with Biggie Langston and Ambrose. Biggie won that match real quickly. Ambrose just he really like an idiot, like a tool or something like that out there tonight. So Biggie pretty much lost. I mean, Biggie pretty much beat Ambrose real quickly tonight. So, it wasn't that much of a challenge. Roman Reigns went against Mark Henry, which was next. Which was, I gotta say, impressive by Roman Reigns getting a clean win over Mark Henry. Two big guys out there. Like, I, I was kind of wanting to see Mark Henry versus Roman Reigns in a way. I didn't think it was going to end up like that. Got the clean win over him, hit the Superman punch, then hit the spear on Mark Henry, picking up the 1-2-3 count. Clean win. And then John Cena versus Seth Rollins. Let me say in another, another amazing match tonight on SmackDown with Seth Rollins and Cena. I'm, I'm seeing Seth Rollins is dodging moves everywhere. Dodging the FUs, landing on his feet. Cena's trying to do power bombs. or like a Batista bomb, but um, pretty much Cena's doing moves out there. That's crazy. Um, pretty much, I thought Seth Rollins was going to pick up the win. Pretty much, Ambrose tried to get in, but Langston attacked and threw him over the table. Reigns came in with the punch then, but then Mark Henry came in, threw him over the table into Ambrose. Pretty much, uh, Rollins jumped off the top rope with a springboard, seen, landed on Cena. Cena rolled it up, hit the F, then pretty much got back on his feet, hit the FU on. Uh, Rollins and pick up the win. Very impressive match. Really enjoyed it. I, I gotta say, that was a good ending right there. So, um, yeah. Really good episode of SmackDown tonight. Especially, I guess, to end off the year, if you look at it that way. So, really did enjoy this episode of SmackDown tonight. I gotta say, we're gonna be coming in soon. Now, probably with a year in review of wrestling, if it comes to that. So, we'll see what happens if we do that. On that.
maybe have to hold New Year's Eve Raw thing. Maybe it'll show Batista more return videos tonight. So I'm out of here. Once again, you know it's me, it's me, the HWLD. Coming up with the news and reviews. You know I am, you know what I do. Comment, subscribe. You know what it is, you know what's got going down. We're now done with this review. Uh, Friday night SmackDown. Coming with the review, so mean. We just ended this somewhat of a last review of SmackDown in 2013. So I'm going to see you guys later. I'm out. Peace.